to our numeracy session. At our last, at the last session, we discussed geometry. And then we talked about 3D shapes. Uh, we considered the one of the features of the 3D shape, which was the face, which was the face. And then we talked about two types of face in a 3D object. We said we have the curved face, and then we have the flat face as well. So in every shape, you can count a number of faces in every shape. In every shape, there are a number of faces. There are more than one face you can see. So a vivid example is the shape here, which is a cone. A cone. As you can see, this is one face, and this is still another face. So if you know we have two faces in this shape, so a cone has two faces, which is one is a flat face and then one is a curved face. So if you are asked how many faces has a cone, the answer is that it's two. A cone has two faces. Thank you, Ben. I hope you remember the faces we talked about last in our last session. We want to look at the second feature of a 3D shape, which is the edge. The edge. The edge. The edge is the meeting point of two faces. It's the meeting point of two faces. So we would consider a shape here and then we we'll look at what the edge is. Now looking at the cone, looking at the cone, the line here is the edge. The line here is the edge. So the line here is the edge. Then this is another edge. So you know this photo has two edges. You can see I've labeled them one and two. Okay, one and two. So it has two edges as well. Let's consider the third diagram here. This is a cuboid. We looked at the cuboid. We looked at the match. We looked at the, the box in our home. And I said that was a perfect example of a cuboid. Now, we can see the edges have several edges. The meeting point of two faces, several edges. And then you can see I've labeled it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, and 12. So this cuboid has 12 edges. If you pick a box in your home and you begin to count the number of edges, you realize that you will have 12 edges in all. So that is very important. Every shape or every object that you have at home, which has a 3D shape, has a number of edges. So you should be able to count all the edges and record it appropriately. All right, let's look at the, another feature of the 3D object, which is the which is the vertex, the vertex, a vertex. A vertex is a point where two or more lines meet. It's a point where two or more lines meet. So let's have an example. Let's use the cone. Good. This is a cone. So this is the vertex. The point here is the vertex. That is the vertex. This point is what we call the vertex. I said, remember, I said it's the meeting point of two or more lines. Two or more lines. So this is a vertex. Once again, in all 3D shapes, we have if we have more than one meeting point of two or more lines, we call it vertices. 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 We call it vertices. Two or more vertices. It's called vertices. So, you realize that in this diagram here, we have just one vertex. One. That's where the two lines meet at the top there. So, we have just one vertex. But in other shapes, there are more than two. There are more than two vertices. For instance, let's come back to our cuboid here. Our cuboid here. And I'm going to circle all the vertices here. Then we will know the number of vertices we have in the cuboid. So I'm just going to circle that for us. As we circle one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. So this has eight vertices. This has eight vertices. Every shape has a number of vertices. So this has eight. Now this cone has just one here. So I would like to pick an object in your home, be in your hall or bedroom, which is in, a, in this shape, maybe a matchbox or a normal box. Then you begin, you begin to count the number of vertices that is there and record them. Do the practice in your home. Okay, do the practice in your home so you can become familiar with how to count vertices on 3D shape. Other objects also have different types of vertices. Some has no vertices. For instance, objects like the sphere. Objects like the sphere has no vertices. Objects like the sphere has no vertices. You take a football, for example, for example, there are no lines meeting at the point. No. It has no vertices. Alright? Let's look at the cylinder. A cylinder, this is a cylinder. This is a cylinder. Good. A cylinder also has no vertices because there are no meeting points of two lines. There are no meeting points. It has what? No vertices. Of course, it has, we talked about the face of the cylinder, so that is in our last session. But it has no what? Vertices. All right, so you need to be able to know some of these features in a 3D object to be able to answer the questions that I'll be giving you in the, I'll be giving you. There are some questions around you will answer them appropriately on the number of vertices, number of faces, and the number of edges. I'll see you in your next, in our next session. And in our next session, we'll talk about the different things. Thanks so much and pay attention to the lesson. God bless you.